Okay. I choose to record it. No, because I'm too lazy to write it down, but obviously because it's better. Definitely because I'm too lazy. Ah, uh, yeah. What I say, find an announcement in my discipline that requires the teacher to use English. Almost everything. I don't remember to have even a talk in Spanish or other languages in English. I to admit that mainly my problem is when you have to write something in Spanish. For my PhD, I had to write the resume, the resume, the abstract also in Spanish. And I wrote it more or less, give it to and another student and ask for the code again. And more or less, and similar also in uh, from uh, an article that was in the uh, Revista Mexicana de Astronomia Astrofisica. That it is in English, but the astra has to be also in Spanish. And luckily, for this reason, it to be really short. Responding back for uh, also conference announcement, subscribing now. I have to see to subscribe probably two, three there at the end of the month. One could be also in Spanish, that is the Larin, because it's a Latin American. A, a, a IAU uh, regional meeting. You can get also in Spanish, so it's open to Spanish. But uh, I uh, say usually the form is a Google form. You put your name from where affiliation. If you are professor, student, postdoc. And then you put the abstract, a user in English. I wrote everything always in English. Also my grant proposal, all that was in English, also because proud to write for five pages in Spanish. It's not too complicated. <clears throat> that will be my problem. The easy part is that in astronomy, all, almost everything you do in English, you give the talk in English. Also in Italy, I give a talk in English because, sorry, but is, uh, you can give, you can speak in English because there are someone that doesn't understand Italian. Okay. <sighs> Usually, something that I realize also because of some writing uh, more uh, to change is uh, writing in, uh, in campus virtual and homework in Spanish, and then writing it in, uh, in, in English. Sometimes I change a little some the structure or something because it's in English and Spanish are some parts similar, subject, verb, object, but the way to say something can change, so you have to pay attention to this part. In reviewing, for example, my manuscript, uh, usually I no. Usually it's not bad. I probably did manage to detect some uh, non perfect uh, wording or to do minor correction to the language. But we just focus on the science. So on the it is in 
excels uh, if the the search is done correctly something like that hey i have no idea what is good in spanish actually In Italian, I could, but actually, I never, I have never read or brought application for conference manuscript proposal in Italian. So I have no idea how you can do it. In another language than English, and sometimes it's funny also because there are some strange uh, translation from uh, in uh, the form because they are, they are translating and So the so dissemination expensive expenses that is about outreach because they translate from Spanish instead of putting outreach or no they translate too much literally it is written dissemination expensive it is quite funny. Think about it. Oh. I have no idea. Also, I fact it is really with uh, bad. In that case, uh, I will probe, I will write. For the manuscript uh, and the, uh, the referee uh, suggesting a review for someone of the English that is really bad. It is some um, inner correction can do it, but usually it is not. And never so personally something, something so bad. Recording is also useful because so I don't know how many words I wrote so I can finish here. Bye. Buon fine settimana a San Pedro.